can you please, as a gift to me, come out looking good? I've spent a lot of time on you, and you're scaring me a little bit. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Okay, so do you guys remember the sparkly butterfly top that Mariah Carey wore back in the year 2000? Well, that look has become a bit of a trend this summer. That little obsession, as they always do, made its way onto my Pinterest. And back in like March, I designed a dragonfly version of that top. You've heard of hot girl summer. I've been having more of like a bug girl summer because everything that I've designed and made for the most part is like a little buggy, a little insectoid. And dragonflies have been a particular subject of inspiration for me. Listen, they're shiny, and I am moth magpie rat brain. So now that the hype has died down a little bit, I finally want to make my dragonfly top. And I'm also kind of doing this now because I'm very much in the creative realm of wanting to focus on detail work, embroidery, beading, making sure a garment has a really good fit, also making something a little bit whimsical that I can also wear in my everyday life. And honestly, if you're looking to practice that, name a more perfect project. So I've already designed two versions of this. I want the one I make in this video to kind of be a mixture of the two. I've actually already begun patterning this, so to show you that, here is Last Night Kira. Why hello there, it's Last Night Kira. And the executive producer, she's here too. Hi! So if you're wondering why I am disheveled, I just got off of a run and I'm going to try to use the energy that I got from that run to fuel me through the patterning and mock-up process for this piece at 10.15 p.m mock-up fabric and I don't know all what main fabrics I'm going to use for this I mean there's just there there's no telling what's down in here yeah that's yeah that's probably good <gasps> So here are sort of our main fabric contenders. The colors are really gonna be just like whatever the heck I have lying around. This is just asking to be turned into a dragonfly thing. But then I also have some of this, kind of reminds me of the dragonfly's wing, a bit of a gold shimmer to it. I've got this sheer teal fabric I'm sitting on. Either way, those are problems for tomorrow, Kira. Tonight, Kira has to pattern this thing out. It's draping time. So my kind of main motivation for wanting to do this project right now in the first place is after doing some moth boleros quite recently and doing like fabric piecing and a lot of like ornate designs going on and a lot of fun trim, I've sort of gotten in the mood to like piece together fabrics. I'm already kind of in my whimsy goth Howl's Moving Castle era, but apparently whenever I was looking up inspiration for that video, Pinterest got wind of it because ever since they have only been suggesting like beautiful ornate embroidery and piecing techniques to me and it has taken over my life. There is no Kira anymore. There's only embroidery. And this is a bit of a problem as you could probably imagine because I'm not really someone who knows how to embroider. I've only embroidered like a handful of things in my entire life. So if I am to put any of the beautiful Pinterest inspiration to good use, I'm gonna have to like actually start learning how to do this. And while I don't anticipate like a ton of embroidery on this project, I think that it could be a good opportunity to play around with a very abstract design and just kind of have a good time, have fun. All the inspir- <laughs> unhelpful. The inspiration for like butterfly inspired halter tops and stuff like this that I've seen on Pinterest are all so unique and they have like the most beautiful coloration. A lot of them have sequins and beading and it's just it's really whatever the heck you want. I also think that projects like this are a really good way to use up random scraps of fabric that you have lying around that you can't really use for anything else because they're too small. Oh my god the amount of times that I'm probably going to stab myself while doing this. Can you see that? Look at that. This is Dangerous. Danger is my middle name, apparently. Pardon my inferior draping job so far. Anyways, how are you guys? I feel like I really do conversational type little sessions on the channel, but do you like this? Do you enjoy hanging out with me while I stab myself in the process of attempting to drape my dress form? If you guys like this, I'll happily run my mouth more. Content. I should probably stop blathering and like actually focus on what I'm doing here. I tried to tack this down really smooth because I feel like the challenge of this garment is actually getting it to support, you know, the girls, the sisters, your boobs. I feel like the only way to really do that is to just have it fit really tight. I obviously don't have the biggest chest, but that doesn't mean that I don't need some emotional support. I'm gonna try to pattern this in a way that does that. Ugh. The line work. Can you tell she's an artist? Okay, 
so I know what you're thinking. It looks more like a butterfly. How about now? Oh, you know what? Actually, that looks pretty good. I was gonna do a little bit about how it just looks like a butterfly and it doesn't really get the whole dragonfly theme across, but I'm wrong. It kind of does. Huh. I don't know what to do with that footage now. Hello there and welcome to the next day. It is disgusting outside. I just want to go outside, but nature is soup right now so today i am going to try to get the entire base for this piece done ambitious yes intriguing yes a necessity because i basically have to get this done today to stay on schedule also yes so as you can see i got the pattern done last night that's fitting pretty well let's get this base cut and sewn up but before we go any further i know it and you know it because it was at the very beginning of this video this video is sponsored by squarespace let me guess if you're an artist watching this video you're probably also one of those artists who's been putting off making a portfolio well if you are look no further than squarespace because they have dozens of professional and customizable website and portfolio templates that can help you build a portfolio even if you suck at graphic design like me with tools like automatic image scaling you can drop in full galleries of your work in squarespace will beautifully scale and position them as soon as you upload it. Have you had the experiences where you had to manually go in and like position everything and make sure it was sized nicely? Yeah, it sucks. Thanks for not making me do that, Squarespace. This frees you up to focus on the important things, those juicy branding visuals. You can fully customize the branding of your website with icons, text, colors, and various website pages. And you can drop in all of the brand-related media you want with audio, video, and image blocks. If you find yourself wanting to connect more to your audience, you can do so with social blocks, which allow you to display recent social media posts on your site. Or you can use members-only areas that function like your own private Patreon. Or you can use email campaigns to keep the peepers of your most loyal followers up to date on whatever magic you're working on. And speaking of work, you might be wondering if your social media strategies do. Do my social media strategies work? Is my audience connecting with this content? What do you guys want from me? For that, Squarespace has analytics for every aspect of your website so that you can know what your audience is interested in and how to connect to them better. Aww. So don't risk no one ever seeing your Mariah Carey Y2K butterfly crop top reproduction. Get a Squarespace website. And if you would like to do that, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com slash pricklyalpaca to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now, back to whatever it is we were doing. I don't remember. Try to keep my fabrics actually on my table. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna do a top layer and then have a lining underneath just for like comfort and also structural reasons. So the wings are going to be out of this beautiful fabric as we've established. Probably going to use this somehow layered in there, especially since these little lines kind of look like dragonfly wings. I don't know how well you can see that. And then for the booby region so that it's actually opaque, some combination of this and then probably this. For the middle, since I wanna do some embroidery over that, I'm going to use some leftover felt from a different project. Oh no, it doesn't have to be perfect because like I said I'm gonna try to embroider over that So I'm trying to decide how I'm going to attach all of this. The solution that I've come to is I basically think that I am going to like flip these like right sides together, sew around, flip them inside out so that at least the edges on all of the individual little wing pieces are finished. I think I'm gonna, oh. You scared me so bad. Hi. <laughs> I thought a demon was brushing up against my leg. I was right. Hi. I'm kidding. I love you. <laughs> she just really needed to sit on my lap right at this second. You're so cute and you're right about everything. You really are. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. To be able to do it, I have to be able to get up. No. Oh, I feel so bad about this. Oh, I feel awful. Oh. Oh, but I have to get to work. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm a terrible pet owner. Bombastic side eye. So last night I got all of 
the main wing pieces assembled and it actually turned out better than I expected, which is great. But then whenever it came time to attach the lining onto the main wing pieces and like add the straps and add the channels for the straps, I began to get a little bit bamboozled. Why don't you make sense? <sighs> and I quickly realized that my brain capacity was just far too low to be doing that last night. I think it's safe to say that my last brain cell just clocked out for the day. Hi, kid. Wow, my shutter is super weird right now. You look like you're in an action film. Whoa. So instead, I decided to just start working on the wing embroidery, and it's a good thing I did because I was a little bit worried about being able to even finish the wing embroidery in the time that I had to do this video. <sighs> I have a lot of embroidery to do and a lot of embroidery floss to do it with. There's something so deeply satisfying about the color of embroidery floss. You guys know what I mean? Like the colors of embroidery floss are just so bright and vibrant compared to like normal colors. My crow brain deems it satisfying. Date night idea, go to the embroidery floss aisle at the craft store and just look at it. I should probably explain what I'm gonna do next. <laughs> okay, so actually there wasn't too much to explain here. It's just really basic embroidery. But well, the first step of working on the wings was taking some gold embroidery floss and trying to straight stitch on a base dragonfly pattern that looks something like this. Wow, it's so realistic. One might think you just ripped some dragonfly wings right off and stuck it on, you know, no one's gonna buy this. The resulting pattern was mediocre at best. This is probably my first embroidery heavy project ever. So I'm a little slow at this. So I started working on that last night, stayed up entirely too late doing that, but I got a lot of good progress on the wings and I finished doing the main embroidery for them this morning. It is now 3 p.m. Yes, that is how freaking long embroidery takes. And now I'm just in the middle of adding on some beading and embellishments. And this is also the first time that I've ever done beading in any project. So I kind of don't know what I'm doing, but it's actually going pretty well. Right now I'm just adding these little gold beads onto the wings to add a little bit more shine because I think that the embroidery floss that I'm using for the details on those is a little bit too similar to the like crinkle organza that I have. I just want to add a little bit more texture, differentiate those details. You probably can't see this, but this is how it's turning out so far. I actually really like it, but we have a long way to go. Ooh, oh my gosh. Basically today is just about a lot of beading and embroidery and I'm not going to worry about it being perfect. I'm just going to see how much I can actually accomplish on this project this week because this kind of thing takes forever. Giving myself two-ish days to do this is fairly unrealistic, so I'll check back in whenever I have some more progress. <laughs> Welcome to my basement floor. It is very late. We're not gonna really discuss that. I got a little carried away with the embroidery, but I've been embroidering basically all day besides like a couple hours where I went to work out and run some errands. I feel like we actually got some really good progress. I've embroidered the entire wing design on and then I beaded over that. And then I've gotten a little bit more of the detail beading done. And then I've started kind of the main color embroidery, which is definitely going to take my entire life. I'm really happy with how it's coming out. Like I'm so excited. It was at that moment moment that I began to question if I really meant what I just said. Did I truly like it? Or was I just saying that for the benefit of you, dearest viewer? I then spiraled into a crisis of indecisiveness and ambiguity. It's kind of still at the ugly stage right now, but this is very much trust the process, trust the process, we're gonna figure it out, it's gonna look good. Can you please as a gift to me. Come out looking good. I spent a lot of time on you. And you're scaring me a little bit right now. Like, just a little bit. I trust you that if you could give me a sign, you're gonna turn out good. I'm just saying that I would appreciate it. Okay. 
Hello and welcome to the hopefully final day. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm feeling... Uh, definitely stayed up way too late trying to get some of the wing embroidery done. But you know, it's kind of necessary for this. I don't know how else I'm gonna get all of it done. Right now, today is mostly just about finishing this up. The main thing that I have to work on and worry about is the body of the dragonfly. Well, the main thing that I have to worry about is finishing the entire thing up and getting it to like fit well and actually function as a little top. So I'm kind of doing the, the good, better, best method for this because otherwise I'm just not gonna finish this in time. I feel like I could legitimately spend another about 20 hours on the wings, stress out about it, and be really meticulous, but I just don't think that that's realistic. And if I really want to, I can always go back in later and like add a little bit more detail to those. Priorities, am I right? Us perfectionists have to learn how to prioritize things sometimes, I guess. Anyways, I'm really excited to actually get this fit and get it functioning. I have some interesting ideas on how to make it a little bit more structural so that it definitely stays in place and I feel comfortable wearing it as just a top, but also a vest. Versatility. This is the year of versatility for my wardrobe and the things that I make on this channel because I'm sick at just having costume items that I can only touch sometimes because society is just a little bit closed-minded. You know, we'll get there someday, but today is not that day. Okay, let's keep going. Hello. I have now been at this for about six hours and the body is finally done. Took forever, but I really like how it looks. Honestly, not too bad for a section that big for someone who doesn't normally do this. I think I'm pretty much on the home stretch with the embroidery, but there are a couple more things that I want to do with the wings themselves. Basically just add a few more flecks of color to all of the wings and then also maybe add a little bit more of a detailed pattern because the pattern that I have on here so far is pretty big. It looks pretty close to the pattern on a dragonfly wing, but a dragonfly wing also has these smaller scales. So I want to see if I can maybe replicate that with uh, some blue embroidery floss or something along those lines. I don't know how good it's gonna look or how well I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna play around, see if I can do that. And then I think I'm gonna call it quits so that I can actually assemble this. <sighs> it's so weird because embroidery is not seen as a strenuous task, but the amount of back pain that you get from hand sewing is actually impressive. <laughs> My posture is bad to begin with, so. Whenever I watch myself back on the recordings for this video, I am just the dad from Coraline. I'm gonna have to do some yoga this weekend. Let's finish this up. actually finished the dragonfly up, I hand sewed the wings onto the body since doing this by machine definitely would not work. And wow, there she is. Isn't she glamorous? She looks like she's about to go to prom. That took my entire life. If you want an activity that will wipe your brain of all thoughts, embroider for eight hours straight. Coincidence? I think not! That might actually be a bit of an underestimation. Let me think. Oh god, yeah it is. Oh. It's probably more like 10 hours. I don't know. I have been doing this all day. And for those of you out there wondering, is this even worth it? Yes it is. Shh, 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 shh. This is the pursuit of art. It's worth it to me. I don't know why, but it is. This is a skill that I'm wishing to acquire. If I'm gonna get my 1,000 hours in, you know, I might as well you know, hit the ground running, I guess. Anyways, the detailing and like decorating is pretty much done, so that's good. I still need to add little antennae and then some little dragonfly legs. I may have gone a little too far in a couple of places. Good morning 
and good afternoon. It's afternoon. I had, there were other things that I needed to do this morning. You know what, I don't have to explain myself to you. My memory card got full whenever I was explaining that stuff last night and I kind of just like gave up. I was so beyond defeated. Like not really defeated, but it's just like I couldn't function anymore. Before as someone comments like, it's okay to take breaks, like it's fine, you're fine. Listen, I like doing this. I like challenging myself. Whenever I complain about it, it's more rhetorical. I'm good, I'm fine. I got a big bowl of beans and rice after that and I binge watched what we do in the shadows for like a couple of hours. <sighs> had a good night. But what I was about to explain to you folks is that pretty much the base of it is done. I'm pretty happy with it. You know, could it use a little bit more work according to me because I'm a maximalist and I will work on something until it is literally repulsive and it's time to stop? Yes, but I'm stopping before I get to that point on this video because, oh my God, it is already so much. So the main thing I have to address now is the fit issues because there are many fit issues. And I even went into this knowing, okay, oh. hey, the way it fits around the bus is for me feeling comfortable is going to be a big part of making this wearable. And what did I do? I didn't pay enough attention to how it fit around the bust. I thought that even in the mock-up, it looked good and it would be fine. And then I went back and I looked at pictures of the mock-up and I was like, oh yeah, no, that like, it's too much gear and not enough here. At this point in time, this is a side boob shirt. I don't enjoy that. If you like side boob shirts, this might be the shirt for you, but it certainly is not for me. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of work to make this comfortable. Basically, I'm going to create a lining that's gonna fix some of those problems. And then I also might unpick a couple of the seams in the front so that those pieces like spread out a little bit more so that there's more like cleavage city and not so much side boobville. Also, the silhouette kind of bothers me as it is right now. Like it's too much here, which reads more as vest and less as like cute little summer blouse. So still got a little bit more to do on this. So the fit on here isn't the worst, but I think I am going to want to unpick a couple of these seams just so that I can get the wings to spread out a little bit more. I do think that it's a little bit too narrow. I am remarkably wide backed. I don't know what else to call it. My torso is Chris Evans-esque. I, I don't know why I am built like a linebacker, but uh, it is what it is. This is just a little bit too narrow of a fit for me. I really want this to fit well, so let's see how far I have to take this. Finish this baby up. Sound like a plan? Good. Let's do it. To finish up this insectoid friend, I undid the hard fruits of my labor and then traced the dragonfly shape to create a flat lining on a cream colored and then sheer teal fabric and then hand sewed that on. Yes, that took my entire life. I probably watched three Buffy the Vampire Slayer episodes while doing this, just to give you a point of reference. Ugh. At this point, my brain matter was also soup. soup. There were a few problem areas on the head and the tail of the dragonflies, so, uh. I got another to make. I'm gonna use hot glue. Not for all of it, just for some of it. Shh, shh, shh. I then made a little triangle bikini pattern from a swim top because I couldn't be bothered. Sewed that together in two layers with a little bias tape on the bottom. And then, yes, hand sewed it onto the top. <laughs> oh my god. Fingers. I also hand sewed on not one, not two, but three sets of straps. I hot glued the fourth set. Then it was time to just add some little insect legs. I love saying the word legs like that, legs. I would like to say that I was good and hand sewed these on, but I would be lying. It was more hot glue. But I finally took out my aggression with a little bit of fire. Heck yes, fire, fire, fire. <laughs> Hello there, uh, it has been, I don't know how many hours, um, it's finally done. <laughs> oh my god, I did not expect to do this much hand sewing on this project, but I did. And my little fingers hurt. I haven't really f tried the finished product on yet, but I'm excited. I think it's gonna be really cute. So with that, I think this calls for a reveal. Take it away, self-absorbed footage of me set to music.
done. What do you think? I am, as you could probably tell, a little unsure about what I think. Don't get me wrong, I really like it, but there's still some issues that I have with it. I started editing this video today and I spent a lot of time looking at the images of the original butterfly shirts that I saw on Pinterest and they just look so much cleaner and better constructed than this. And I mean, it's understandable. This is my first time making something like this, but I think that I uh, just wanted to do a little bit better than I actually did. Again, it's still cute. It's just the design on it itself is a little bit less intentional than I would have liked. That was kind of what I was going for, but the thing is normally whenever I go into a project with just pure artistic chaos, it ends up looking good. But um, I don't know if that's necessarily the case here, unfortunately. I probably should have planned this out a little bit more but I didn't. And that leads me to my other complaint, which is the fit of it. I can wear this without a shirt underneath. That is not the fit issue. I am just not gonna wear this with a shirt underneath on the internet. I probably would like around friends or something, but it's just minor little fit issues and construction issues. Kind of goes back to the fact that most of this was constructed through hand sewing, which is not my strongest skill. This is probably one of the first projects that I've done heavy hand sewing on. And also the embroidery and the beading is a little bit lumpy. I probably assembled it in the wrong order. I should have focused more on fit first and then done all the embellishments. There's also a little bit of hot glue involved here. So uh... <laughs> overall, it's not bad. It's just not the most flattering. It's a little bulky and it's not really constructed in the way I intended, so it's kind of just okay. Here's the thing, it's not to the level of quality that I would have wanted for something that I made that I put on the internet, but for something to just wear, yeah, it's cute. I like it. I'll probably wear it a good bit, actually. I just, you know, wanted it to be a little bit more impressive, but I should probably temper my expectations considering this is the first piece that I've done pretty much any embroidery or beading on at all. And I've also never made a weird halter top like this. So it's okay. We make peace with it. And, you know, if I'm being 100% honest, we're also not having a great body image day today. Which sucks. And... Ew. But that's probably contributing to my negative opinion towards this piece right now. It's okay, creation. Sometimes your brain just plays tricks on you. Anyways. In conclusion, I do like it. I just would have liked to do a little bit better so we can end on a high note. Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching and for uh, listening to me complain about something that I made for the last like two minutes or so. I'm so happy that you are here with me today. I did have a really fun time working on this even though I'm like a little bit pessimistic. But of course, as always, the biggest thank you for this video goes to my beautiful patrons and especially my executive producers. The guys are the wind beneath my dragonfly wings that keep me afloat every single week. Brian, Phoenix, Rose Draconi, Ira, Danny Tanga, Rose Kofrick, Freedom and Gus Gus, Francesca Sliwa, Small Creeper, Meg Litch, Cat, Dodo, Zyle S, Shay Lee, Gray, The Cat's Bark, Alwyn Hayes, Thea Maia, Ruled by Pluto, Agent Sketchy, Wolven underscore Arts, Corvid Dome, Lovisa, Eloquent Silence, In the Galaxy, Eno Sign, Meeks Hunter, Megan Penland, India Gloom, Hypnos, Reflings, Katie, Michael Twycross, Sweet Winter Garden, Gravity Drop, Bobo McFoe, Will Schmidt, and Bean the Bread. If you would like to become a patron and gain access to exclusive behind the scenes content on my videos, the link will be in the description. Let's get a, a second opinion from the executive producer. Uh, she's clawing at the door as always. It sounds like a demon. Oh, wow. Nice to see you too. What are we thinking? You give me an opinion? Okay. I think that sounds like a yes. Well guys, I got the scream of approval, so I think this one went well. However, you get feedback from corporate, you just really never know what they're gonna say.